going on, guys? So in the last video, we started building some of the front elements to our stadium, and I filled some of that stuff in down to the bottom. This video is going to focus primarily on these design elements in the front. As you see, I've got them now. They're just long strands of brick. So today we're going to put the some of the design element in to make it look like how it actually looks on the outside of the stadium. And we're going to figure out where ground level is. So it's kind of an important video if you're looking to do the outside of your stadium or looking to learn how to design the outside of the stadium that you're building or the stadiums that I build. So, I've filled them all the way down to the bottom, as I showed you in the intro there. And the next step is to go to the map for the pictures. I've done this in a variety of ways. Sometimes you can do it off pictures, sometimes it's better to do it off the map. Uh, today we're going to do it off the, off the map, but we might use some pictures as well. So what we can see is that we've got some, some sandstone workings here, and then it all melts into the ground. I think one of the most important things to start with is where is the ground? And this is something in every stadium that's unique. Some uh, stadiums, specifically, I can think Neyland Stadium, on one side, the ground level is the field level. And over here, the ground level is like halfway up the stadium. So you would walk in and be on this level. So in every stadium, it's really uh, particular. So the only hint that I can find in this stadium of where ground level is, is that this clearly connects to this. You can walk all the way around here, out of this tunnel, onto this platform, across, and onto that platform. Or at least that's what it looks like. And it also looks like I could walk back up this. Now, I don't know how sloped this is, but given that this is flat or close to being flat, and considering we're in Oklahoma, you can see some stairs here, so I know I'm going uphill at this point. But I think once you get in this area, that it might be relatively flat. Now, if I was designing something in North Carolina or South Carolina, I might not assume right away that this is flat. But with it being in Oklahoma or a Texas stadium, I'm going to assume that this is a little bit more flat than... I'll give it the benefit of the doubt that it's flat. So there might be a little bit of hill there, but not much. And what I'm thinking is when you walk in the stadium, that it makes sense for you to either be at this level or at this level. And that level just looks too high to the ground to me. So I'm going to assume that you walk in at this level. Or maybe slightly above it and you go down a little bit to that level. I haven't totally decided. Let's swing it around here. If I walk in at that level, this it does look a little higher. It certainly doesn't look this high. This is an extremely hard thing to tell. It really is. But I'm going to say that ground level is just a little bit above maybe one or two blocks above this level. So, one here. So I think that maybe Y9 or Y10 is probably the most appropriate ground level. Y10 is ground level. It means the ground is right here. And I think that's probably a safe bet. We can kind of look at that and compare it to this. It's pretty close. Look at them simultaneously. Looking at the buildings on the left. So if that, if this thing is about right here, this thing is about right here things about right there yeah yeah that's that's about right I think that's as close as we can get that's what we've got to function on and if we need to raise the ground level based on our building we will so what the first thing we're gonna look at is it looks like that looks like that a lot of this stuff matters 
and how that lines up right there maybe no it doesn't this comes off okay so that's a good indicator this little stripe comes directly off of the first line there and I'd say that's actually too wide so we'll build that one or two wide depending on how it looks so that's the first stripe we can build around because we know that that's there we already have a good idea of what the height of this was so one wide for now and see how it looks but I'd say it's probably too wide and too wide down this way Let's see how that looks if that was three this would have to be four and two so that's three I kind of wonder if maybe the tops are I wonder if the tops are maybe only two. Look at how that looks. This is no exact science, and I wonder if I change that to two, how that looks. Okay. So that's clearly not going to be the same width as that. No, that's clearly less wide than this. I wonder if we raise the whole thing one. Let's go on this premise for now. If that's how it is. And that means that these will all have to be raised one. We won't do it all. We want to get this one all the way done to get a good prototype. Okay. So our next... That's not what I want. So our next one... Is quite a ways down here. This looks to be so. Whatever the gap between this one, this one, uh, it looks like to come off that second one. So the next thing I guess we need to figure out is these, and then we'll have to line them up to go from there. So if if we're assuming that this one is three, it looks like. If that one is three blocks, or four blocks, this looks to be almost five blocks of gap. That one's four. That one's probably five. I think I might have that too wide, but we'll see. So we'll assume that it's five. Uh, how I've measured these was where we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there would be a brick thing right here. Go ahead and put that brick thing in. And then there's looks to be some kind of I need to just delete that. Some kind of recession, maybe? Just one block of recession. So this would actually be right here. Then we could continue that across for the sake of how the whole thing will look. Oh, I didn't measure if that was five, though. Did I? One, two, yeah. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. Then there should be three on each side, so like that. Nope, but not like that. This. And I think they're equally sized all the way down. I don't think any of those change. And they've got one, two, three, four crosses. Those might be two wide crosses as well. I don't know. It's close. We'll see how they look. One, two, three, four, five as one wides. We'll see how they look as one wides. One, two, three, four, five. If we do it like that, that is how they'll look. If we need some extra space going down now, I've got an idea of how to get it. Let's look at this one more time. Yeah, those are clearly... Uh, I want to say that the these are wider than this. But I don't think that one is. It looks like maybe there's one and then... Is this one wider? It's It's impossible to measure... These are the middle ones are definitely wider than the than the 
center. So let's do that. It's going to push everything down dramatically. I think that looks better, but I almost think they look too long. Ah, oh, the gap's not too long. But I think I do like the one and then twos. Change it just a little bit more. I think this is the last adjustment. Yes, that's that's the way to do it. That is how they're done. I feel pretty confident about that. Alright, I think that's perfect. And this thing comes out. Best to measure in 2D. Let's see, it probably comes out off of the wall. About, about four blocks, three or four blocks there, maybe, maybe just three. See exactly how to build it to. It's definitely too wide. Some kind of roof mechanism, this black roof on top. Okay, so it's an arch. We're gonna take. I think we'll take it four wide. It looks like it comes off of this. Right, JK, it comes off of this. And in the center, it would be. One, two, three, four wide. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, and it's four by one, two, three, four. No, JK. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Five. Twenty-five by four. Okay, so we gotta mine conics. <laughs> Wrong. Okay, um, it was definitely 25, though. Oh, I measured it from the wrong center point. Hello, I'm dumb. Five, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Try it again. 20. Makes it 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 3, 6, that's quite a bit different. All right, so these little poles right here, it's it's extremely hard to tell what's going on there because it's so dark. So we'll search a Boone Pickens Stadium front, and then we will go to images. Hopefully this will give us some idea. Okay, so that's actually a lot clearer of what's going on here. So there's windows in there. That's pretty obvious now. It's not open. Makes sense. But we still can't see what's going on in the gates. That's actually pretty wide. That actually looks like there's a little drop back there, so we'll add that. That won't be a problem. It looks like that might at least be another one wide, maybe two. Uh, let's see if we can find a picture of the front entrance, though. There's one. Okay. Yeah, sure. So this goes down, this goes down, this goes down, and then there's fillers in between. Yeah, no problem. I've done something similar before. Okay, so there's definitely a little drop right here. I kind of wonder if that's a little further out. I think the gates are a little further out. I think everything is further out. Let's see. Let's compare it to the buildings coming out. Yeah, it's got to be just a little further out. Okay, so no problem there. Add them like that. Yep, and then, okay. So that's where the curvature goes. It's also pretty apparent to me that this line extends off the top two. 
So we can go ahead and do that. Perfect. There. Now we need to add those windows, but we can do that a little bit later. And there looked to be a little drop kick right here, so add it like this. Okay, now we can add the floor in. I think the floor under there was maybe not sandstone. It looked different on the map. Maybe we can find a picture of it. Let's go back to this. It looks like that's some front gate pictures. Yeah, it looks like maybe some brick or something. Some kind of brick. That's snow. Doesn't help. Doesn't help me. Okay, so we'll presume for now it's sandstone, and then we'll add any breaking that goes in. So go to in, uh, 54. And that'll give us a floor to work with at least. And it looked like these were pretty evenly spaced. Two, three. We make them three at the bottom. That's how it's going to look. Those two wide gates, which I don't, I think that's about right. I think that that is about correct. Look at the gate shape now. They just go straight up. Yeah, two wide gates, and there's some piece of sandstone about halfway in between the roof and the. Don't mind that at all. It looks fine. The, if I can see underneath the roof, I can't. We'll assume it's sandstone. I believe that does the trick. Just to the top here. Okay, so that's perfect. Now we'll put some glowstone in the ceiling. Some kind of repeatable pattern here. Perfect. That's a nice light. In the middle, there was this was 11 up, so on the sixth one, we'll have this little bar that appears to go across. Let's see, does it connect? It does appear to connect. These actually look to have like a disc going on. The bar seems to connect like one, two, three, four, five on the sixth one. That. Alright, so I think that's our front gate. We'll have to put those windows in next. Be a big issue. Alright, so I'll put all the windows in off of the next before the next video. All the face doesn't really look a lot different. I kind of wonder if the black windows would look any different from afar. I'm going to fill this black window thing and you tell me which one looks better in the comments. Alright, tell me which one you like better in the comments. I think the... I can't tell a substantial difference, but... If you like one better than the other, let me know. Alright, so next, now that we've kind of got that measured out, we can get a good sense of these things. So that clearly comes off the second one, so we'll draw that across. And we know, you know, normally I would think about remeasuring this, but I know if it's lined up with this, that it's measured properly, because I've measured the exact number of spaces between that one and that one, so I know it's all measured properly. Or else I would have to, if I didn't have something to line it up with that I already knew was measured appropriately, then I would have to remeasure it. So. Next thing we're looking at is these. This clearly extends almost up to the top. One left off the top, none left off the bottom. Looks about maybe two or three wide, maybe. Maybe something like, uh, let's see, was it between, maybe between this one and, is that the very top? To the very top. Okay, so probably two on each side, like, Looks like they're set in one as well, but I don't think I can accurately reflect that because it looks like it's only set in about a half. 
and decide between the two and the three. And I'm also going to go with, it looks like there's some chiseling in there, so I'm going to give a chiseled sandstone. I'm going to do two on the next one, three on this one, tell me which one looks better in the comments. I can find, oh, that might look good too. Um, we'll try a couple different variations. You tell me which one looks best. So for this one, we'll go ahead and draw the lines with the sandstone we know. We'll do this in the chiseled sandstone. Is that too wide? Alright, I think I definitely like the chiseled sandstone better, but we'll do one more. This sandstone's not an option, I don't think. Let's try the endstone and see how it looks. Alright, so you tell me which one of those looks better in the comments. We'll go from there. So, we've got, I'll leave those like that for now. We've just got one or two more things to do. Extend this across so we, nope, oh, not this one. Just have a really good idea of where everything is built. So that's how the ground will look against it. Now we need to do, make sure there's nothing else here. It looks like those are flat brick going around. So I think that's it. We, we've got a little circle thing up here we can check out. That's uh, like a dark blue. That might work. Looks kind of jewelly though. There might be something in the. This might work better. Or this. Look at these, and it's like a. a little circle. Maybe it's like. We'll have to do it probably like a square. Alright, you tell me which one of those looks better, which combination. The light blue or the dark blue? They kind of look like pluses. That's okay. But I think that's it. I think that's how we do the front gate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to this. I'm going to add the front design. I think they're the same. Both buildings, yeah. Oh, and this runs across. Okay. Okay, so that's something. Perfect. Do the same thing on this. Okay, and as for the centerpieces on those, I'm going to wait for y'all's feedback on that. So pretty much the front gate is built now. I'm going to wait for your guys' feedback on the window difference, whether the black or the gray, and the texture difference between the in stone and the chiseled sandstone the blue circle difference between the light blue and the dark blue. So those are decisions we'll have to make going forward. Until then, that's where we're at. Next time we'll build the rest of that building all the way down to the ground and start to expand that pattern that we've set with the sandstone interiors over here and start building more buildings and get the outside of this thing done. But that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll tune in next time.